mankind's age-old treasure hunt. The search for health and vitality in the beneficent rays of the sun. Millions of people make regular pilgrimages to bathing beaches and other places especially favored by the sun, seeking its health-giving bounty. How does sunlight, or lack of it, affect your health? Vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin, comes from exposure to sunlight. When the sun's UVB rays hit the skin, a reaction takes place that enables skin cells to create vitamin D. Vitamin D is related to many different things in health, um, not only bone health, but also musculoskeletal, also the ability to fight infections, to cancers, and a whole bunch of other um, medical conditions. So being starved of sunlight can be detrimental to the human body. Well, somebody who has very low vitamin D levels, who is not on vitamin D supplements, can have problems with bone formation. So it's how the bone forms with calcium and vitamin D, and that can lead to a condition called osteomalacia. It can also lead to, uh, to increased fractures. The Institute of Medicine recommends that the average adult get 600 to 800 units of vitamin D a day. And while severe vitamin D deficiency isn't common for most adults, supplements can help when needed. There's vitamin D2 and there's vitamin D3, and both are effective at restoring the body's stores of vitamin D. But too much vitamin D can hurt too. When people who are, who are on mega doses of supplements, for example, 100,000 units a day, can get vitamin D toxic. And the only way to know that is they'll get high calcium levels. So they'll get symptoms associated with high calciums, which thing, could be things like confusion, uh, abdominal pain, kidney stones, things like that. Like and a number of studies are underway to investigate all of the health benefits associated with vitamin D. Vitamin D is basically linked to hundreds of different medical conditions. We are seeing some more studies that are going to be supplementing people with vitamin D to see if it actually improves some of these conditions. But the jury's still out.